Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and run Arc Linux on your VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So you can see I'm currently running Windows Server, Manjaro, Teos OS and Zorin OS on my VirtualBox so you can run tons of operating systems virtually on your machine. So in this video we are going to install Arc Linux operating system on our VirtualBox. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox and to do that open your Google Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now that's what we are looking for so click on that and by the left you can see downloads over there so click on downloads. Okay so we are using a Windows machine so we are going to select VirtualBox for Windows host by clicking on Windows host and it will start downloading. Now I already have this installed so I don't really need to download again. But you just have to download and install just like every other software. If you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on your computer. Now the next thing we want to download is our Arc Linux ISO file. So this is the file we are going to use for the installation. So let's search for Arc Linux. Okay, so you can see the first page over here, arclinux.org. So click on that. And here we go. So now click on downloads up here. You can see downloads tab up here. So let's click on download. Okay, so you can see the torrent link if you want to use a magnet link or a torrent link, but I don't really need to do any of that. So if you scroll down, you're going to see the worldwide version. You can use any of these links to download. So let's just go with the first link. And you can see Arc Linux 2022-0903x86-64.iso and this is what we need. So click on it and it will start downloading. Now the file size is about 794 megabytes. I already have this downloaded so I just have to cancel that. So after installing Oracle VM VirtualBox on your system and you have your ISO file ready, we can begin the installation. So let me open my file manager and you can see this is Arc Linux 2022.09.03 which is currently the latest version. Now we can begin with the installation. So let's close this and open our virtual box. Now we have to create a new virtual machine where we are going to import the file we just downloaded. So click on new up here and then let's name this Arc Linux OS. Okay, so you can see the type, make sure it is set to Linux and the version is set to Arc Linux 64 bits and then click on next. Now this is the amount of RAM we want our machine to use. So make sure you are not giving more than 40% of the RAM on your PC. You can see I have 16 gigs of RAM so I can give 5 gig which should be okay. If you give more than 40% of the RAM on your PC, it will slow down your host computer. So let's click on next and then create a virtual hard disk now click on create now let's go with vdi and then next dynamically allocated next okay so this is the maximum storage we want our virtual machine to use so you just have to select a storage that should be okay so 70 65 gigs okay so let's click on create and we are good so we've created a new virtual machine and you can see the specs of this machine now we have to make few changes to things over here. So click on settings up here and then go to system by the left. You can see this is a motherboard base memory where we can change the RAM whenever we want. Click on processor and select the amount of CPU cores you want this machine to use. So you can see from 1 to 4 is ok. From 5 to 8 is not recommended. So you just have to go within the save area so I will just go with 3. Go to display and set the video memory to 128 megabytes and then click on OK. Now we have to import the ISO file we downloaded. So click on start up here. Now this is where we are going to select our ISO file. So click on this file icon over here and then click on add. Now select the ISO file for Arc Linux we downloaded earlier. Click on it and then open click on choose and then click on start so it should initiate the installation 
now we are going to install Arc Linux Medium and you can see over here so just hit enter or you just leave it it should boot in about five seconds from now Now type in arc install to initiate the installation. Now type it exactly as seen. And then hit enter. And it should initiate the installation. Okay, so this may take some time. So you just have to wait patiently. Okay, so now we have to set the language and keyboard option. So if you want to set the language, just hit enter and then select the language. So we are just going to go with English, hit enter again. You can see mirror location and every other detail over here. Now we can also set the root password and root user account. So let's scroll to root password and then enter a password, hit enter. Hit enter again, yes, and then confirm the password. Okay, so we are done with setting the user password. Now we can also set the user account, hit enter, and then enter a username, enter, password for the username, hit enter, yes, and then confirm. So if you want this to be a super user, all you have to do is go down, yes, which is ideal, hit enter. So you can see the username and the password and let's confirm and exit, hit enter. So we are done with setting that. Now screw to drives down. So you can see over here drives, hit enter. And this is where we are going to select the drive. So you can see 65.8 gig which we are located hit enter to select that drive now we also have to set the disk layout so screw down to disk layout hit enter so we are going to screw down to wipe all selected drive and use a best effort default partition layout so basically this is the best option so screw down to that hit enter hit enter again yes yes and we are good to go now screw down Hit enter to save configuration, save all, hit enter and then we can begin the installation by hitting enter again. You can see install down there, hit enter to continue. Now let's skip this, so use the escape key and you can see the installation is complete. Now we have to shut down and then remove the installation media. So type in the command, shut down now and then hit enter. So the next thing we have to do is open our virtual box, go to settings, go to storage and then remove the ISO file over here, right click, remove attachment, remove, ok and then hit start. Now type in your correct login username and then the password. So basically this is how to install Arc Linux on VirtualBox. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.